Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about customer loyalty and uh, increasing customer lifetime value in regards to segmentation. So how can uh, you the business owner or rather uh, the company increase the market size or rather increase uh, the revenues that are coming to your business in terms of uh, using customer loyalty and using data to drive this inform decisions and gather insights on who you really your loyal customers are and uh, how can you also segment your different types of customers so data uh, what the foundation blocks will be it will be rather segment segmenting your customers you need to have fast collect data about your customers this is in terms of name age gender uh, what is the average uh, share wallet size that they bring to your business uh, also in terms of uh, de demographics or in terms of lifestyle where do they live so if you have a store or rather if you have a business your business locations and uh, hypothetically say I'm a franchisee and I'm in different locations uh, what first I really want to put in my CRM is uh, the database of customers in each and every uh, location after that I really want to know who my real customers are in terms of uh, what their age 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 ages are in terms of their demographics who are they males are they females in terms of uh, their share wallet how much uh, do they bring to the business uh, how much repeat traffic uh, do they cause to the business so if with that information I'll be able to first create a customer avatar of uh, who my ideal customers are when I'm doing a marketing campaign. So first, gather the data of who your ideal customers are. And you don't really need to have one type of customer. You can have different segments of customers uh, to because each, each campaign, you can be doing multiple campaigns. Uh, be it email campaigns, SMS campaigns, all will be informed by you and uh, all will be different, uh, targeted towards different customer segments. So the second part of the, the equation will be uh, differentiating your customer segments and this will also inform your marketing campaign. So if I know that uh, I'm, I want to drive traffic in terms of, uh, let's say, repeat rates, the guys who have been coming to my business more than twice or more than five times. So I know that this, these are the guys that have been coming to my store repeatedly over a certain period because they might be have been coming to my store, let's say, for five times, but they came, uh, let's say, last year. And we have a different customer who has been coming to my store, but this year, but more than, with more than five times. So you see, those are two different customers. So in terms of loyalty, uh, bringing, bringing that engagement or driving back the traffic, you already know who your loyal customers are and uh, your messaging now will be informed by this data. So if, when I'm creating my campaign, my copy content or what, what I'll be writing in, in my messaging on when I'm crafting my advertising will be informed by all these customer segments. Uh, secondly, when I'm also building a, 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 a client profile or a customer profile for targeting, I can be looking at uh, in terms of uh, share wallet size. Uh, who brings in the most revenues? Can I segment customers in terms of their spending? I've known that, uh, let's say with my point of sale and with my uh, other, let's say, uh, analytics software, that let's say gathers names, gathers uh, their contact information that uh, uh, Sydney came to my store at uh, this time. This was the amount that he spent and uh, most probably he had a family. And uh, let's say I'll do that. He ordered let's say like five meals and uh, he came around breakfast or he came around dinner because uh, let's say uh, I know that uh, dinner or are, are really the, the large orders come from my dinner menu or large orders come from my breakfast menu and uh, Sydney is really uh, a good customer 
when it comes to dinner. So I'll segment my uh, marketing campaign in regards to this dinner segment and uh, also I'll differentiate my customers in terms of what they are spending. So if I know, uh, let's say if it is Charlie or Anne who really just likes to come to my to my location for let's say just a, a cup of tea and a guy with some samosas. Uh, I know she's not a high spender but uh, let's say in terms of uh, uh, frequency she's also uh, a much more frequent guest. So I'll, those are two different client segments that I'll be uh, tailor making my advertising and marketing campaigns to. So who in terms of uh, bringing or creating loyalty programs or creating offers, I should be able to do much more precise uh, marketing campaigns, uh, targeting what the consumer really needs to hear or really needs to see in order for him to come back to the business. So if, if it is Sydney, I'll uh, t- direct to him offers uh, regarding, let's say, uh, family visits. Let's say if they, he comes to his next uh, uh, visit to my restaurant, I'll offer him, let's say, a discount, let's say, on uh, one, one, one family member. Or, uh, or whichever, whatever, whatever uh, marketing that you or whatever offer, I want to drive towards, uh, let's say, that family segment. And uh, this, this in turn will additionally see uh, his uh, repeat rate because I've offered him something that really applies to him and uh, applies to his spend in my store. So knowing what the customer spend is is really important and uh, knowing who this customer is according to the the spend and crafting my uh, advertising and my messaging towards this customer is really key. And this is also, you can also do this let's say in the online space because one of the biggest challenges in terms of companies or businesses is is in terms of uh, justifying the marketing dollars in terms of digital campaigns because when you're doing digital and continuously uh, budgets are, are continuously going increasing when because the guys are spending more time online so how do I justify my budgets according if I don't measure or if I don't see who who in terms of me advertise digitally and me seeing that full traffic do I do where where is the the ways the disconnect? So in terms of if I collected a customer profile, and I've known this this is his uh, social media da- data, and I know this is where he really likes to spend his uh, online activities are. So I'll be pushing uh, campaigns in the right uh, platform because uh, if it is, I know that uh, I have.